will discuss here how to read the graph of the function to find its domain, the range, intercepts, and the values of the function. Now let's recall that the domain is the set of all the x's such that for some y the point x, y is on the graph. And the range is the set of all y's such that for some values of x the point x, y is on the graph. So to find the domain of the range we have to find uh, the x and y values such that the point x, y is on the graph. Therefore what we'll do is we follow the graph of the function uh, from the left to right, as we always follow the graph, and we'll notice how values of x change when I move through that graph. So if you look at um, that movement right here, if I move through the graph, I can see that the values of x will change from minus infinity to the x-coordinate of the point 6 and 4, which is 6. Because I have solid dot, the point uh, 6, 4 is included in the graph, and that means that 6 is in the domain of the function. Similarly, if I follow that graph again, and now paying attention to the y-coordinates of the points, I can see that y-coordinates will change from minus infinity to the y-coordinate of the point 6, 4, which is, um, which is 4. And the 4 will be included because the point 6, 4 is on the graph. Now, if I want the value of function at negative 2, I have to remember that the point, if the point A, B is on the graph of the function f, then the b or y coordinate of that point is the value of function at a. So what remains to do to uh, find value of function at negative 2 is to find the point in on the graph that has x coordinate negative 2. So here is x negative 2. If I follow to the graph, I will find the point negative 2, negative 7, and therefore the y coordinate of that point, negative 7, is the value of the function at negative 2. This is by definition of the graph of the function. So f of negative 2 is negative 7. Now if I want f of 4, I will do the same. I need to find the point on the graph that has x coordinate 4. So I find x equal 4 find the point on the graph that has x coordinate 4 and that point is going to be 4 and 3 and by definition the y coordinate of that point of 3 is the value of the function at the x coordinate or at 4. So again I can say that f of 4 is equal 3. Now as for x intercepts or y intercepts, these are the points where the graph crosses either x axis or y axis. So if the graph crosses the x axis, here is the point, this is only one, this is my x intercept. And therefore it is a point negative 1, 0. It is the only one. Now, if I'm looking for the y-intercept, I'm looking where the graph crosses the y-axis, and I can see that it crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 1, and this is my y-intercept. As we know, function can have only y, one y-intercept because it will not pass the vertical line test, but the function can have uh, infinitely many x-intercepts.